Twin Cities Adventures here with our Instant Pot Cheesecake playlist. And in today's video, I'm gonna do a review on some cheesecake pans. In this video, we're gonna answer a few questions and show you some tips and tricks about our cheesecake pans in conjunction with our Instant Pot. The first star of our show is the Instant Pot. And this is the six quart duo. I think that it is the perfect size for a medium sized family. We've always had enough room to make whatever we wanted in that. If you have a really large family, you might want to bump it up to the eight quart, but this one's perfect and I've never wanted anything more than this. Our Instant Pot came with this little rack here that has handles on it so you can raise and lower things out of the Instant Pot. Here's the second star of the video. This is our Fat Daddy-O six inch by three inch cheesecake pan with a removable bottom. So here we have three inches tall and it's six inches wide in the inside. The outside measurement is about six and three quarters. But if you're gonna order this pan, it's called a six inch by three inch cheesecake pan with a removable bottom by Fat Daddy-O. Here's how that fits on the trivet for the six quart duo. There's plenty of room. You can grab the handles and pick that up. And that goes right in and out of the six quart duo with a lot of room to spare. As you can see in all of our videos, this is the cheesecake pan that all of our cheesecakes have been made in so far. Here's another option. This is a seven inch by three inch with a removable bottom. Okay, let's get the tape measure out. Now this one is exactly seven inches wide on the inside and three inches tall. The outside measurement is about seven and three quarter inches. So let's try this on the trivet for the Instant Pot Six Quart Duo. As you can see that this is a perfect fit for this trivet. Now let's try that in the Instant Pot Six Quart Duo. Now that fits in there perfectly with plenty of room to spare. I have large hands, so I can easily grasp this with one hand and remove this. If you can't do it, just use two hands. This was my first cheesecake pan I ever purchased. As you can see when you watch our video that all of our cheesecakes are very narrow and tall. That's why, six inch by three inch. In the future, you'll be seeing us make some cheesecakes in the seven inch by three inch cheesecake pan with a removable bottom. Now, what's the difference between the six inch and the seven inch? The batter is gonna spread out a little bit more and it's gonna be shorter in height. So you might get a more firm inside of the cheesecake if you do it in a wider pan. Now here's a couple of other options and these are spring form pans. This is the pan that I used in the Bain Marie video that we made so you can bake it in the oven. You just release the spring and the bottom pops right out. Here's another one that's the same size, and here's a larger one. Just release that, and then the bottom pops right out. All right, the next question I'm gonna answer is, how big of a cheesecake pan fits on the trivet? People have different size Instant Pots, and people have different size trivets. You have to measure your trivet before you purchase a cheesecake pan. Let's do that right now. So the trivet that came with the six quart duo measures seven and an eighth inches across. And you can see how that slides right into the six quart duo perfectly. The inside of the six quart duo measures eight and three quarter inches wide and six and a quarter inches deep. The next question that I've been asked a lot is can you fit two cheesecake pans in the Instant Pot six quart duo at the same time? I've never tried it before, but let's give it a shot and we'll measure it and see if they'll fit. First, I'll take the six inch by three inch on the trivet and we'll put that inside the Instant Pot six quart duo. I can tell you right now that it's doubtful that two of them will fit in there, but let's give it a try. Now here is the seven by three inch. I'll put that right on top there and look at how that sticks up a little bit too high. Now let's grab the lid and see if it'll go on top. Absolutely not. It's just too big. And now we'll try two spring form pans on top of the trivet. There's one. 
and there's two. Look at that. Ta-da! Two spring form cheesecake pans actually fit inside the Instant Pot six quart duo. Now, once again, why did they fit? Because they're a little bit shorter. So this spring form pan is two and three quarter inches where the Fat daddy -O is a solid three inches. So yes, you can fit two spring form pans that are two and three quarter inches tall in the Instant Pot 6 Core Duo at the same time. Let's just stack one on top of the other. If you want, you can line this in parchment paper and then just pop that open, or you can use butter or some kind of nonstick surface spray or whatever you want. All you do is open this up and that expands the cylinder and then that just pops right out. I just use spray Pam on here now. I've used, I've tried other things and I really don't see a big difference. And then the other star of our videos is the infamous Star Wars coffee cup. And we just take this and we tap that on the bottom of it and it comes right out. Now, if you don't use parchment paper on the inside or some enough non-stick spray, you might have to bang it on your Star Wars coffee cup harder or a couple more times. And you can see how much room is in there for that to bang up against. So if you're gonna use something smaller in diameter, you may actually dent the bottom of your removable pan if you didn't use enough non-stick cooking product. Okay, the next question I'm gonna answer is cooking time. How much cooking time do you need for Instant Pot cheesecakes? Well, my classic answer is about 28 minutes. And I've cooked them for 28 minutes often and it always comes out perfectly. I do a lot of experimenting in the kitchen and I make up all of our own recipes so if I add more liquid into a recipe, like maybe key lime juice or some other kind of liquid for flavoring, and I feel like the cheesecake batter is a little bit more watery, I will increase the cook time just to make sure that I really thoroughly cook the cheesecake. And then instead of a 10 minute natural pressure release, I'll let it sit in there for 15, 20 minutes. I've even let it sit in there for 40 minutes. Nothing really happens after 10 minutes because the pressure is released, but I just let it set and cool off in the Instant Pot. And when I come back later, I just cross my fingers, hope for the best, and then we put it in the fridge. And you know my rule, good, better, best in the fridge, good is four hours, better is eight hours, and best is overnight. I always recommend overnight. Did you know that most cheesecakes that you eat in restaurants are not made fresh. They're actually made in some kind of factory and then they're frozen and shipped to your favorite restaurants. They take it out of the freezer and they let it defrost and then they cut it and serve it. So that's why a lot of cheesecakes that you order in restaurants are super dense because they've been made in advance, frozen, shipped, defrosted, and then cut and served. These are fresh, cheesecakes. They're creamy and delicious. Okay, takeaways from this video is, first of all, always measure your trivet and always measure the inside of your Instant Pot to make sure that you're purchasing the right size cheesecake pan for you. The next takeaway is make sure you use some kind of nonstick cooking agent to help get the cheesecake out of the cheesecake pan. The third takeaway is experiment in the kitchen. Try the cooking times that are referred to you by whoever's video you're watching, and if you wanna alter it, do so. That's what makes it your own. You might have to increase the cooking time. You might decrease the cooking time. Have you ever heard of cooking in high altitude or baking in high altitude? That's a real thing. And you know what another thing is? Cooking or baking in humid weather. That's a huge thing. We live in Minnesota and sometimes the air is dry like in the winter and things do tend to cook or rise better, but sometimes in the hot summer, it is super humid. Like last week, it was 97 degrees with the most humid thick air ever. 
nothing rolls. Like, we, you could paint something and the paint never dries. The air is so thick. So you might have to increase your cook times if you're in high altitude or in humid weather. You just have to get to know where you're at, get to know your cooking tools, and get to know your cooking style, and you can make the best decisions for you. The next takeaway is where can I get the cheesecake pans that are in these videos? Well, after a couple of years of people asking me, I finally got around to adding the links below the videos. So if you click on our video and watch it, there's a little arrow and I'll show you in a second. You just click on the arrow and it tells you the recipes, the cook times and the links of where you can buy the Instant Pot or the cheesecake pans and get them to your house as soon as possible so you can start making cheesecakes too. Let me show you that right now. Okay, here's our channel, Twin Cities Adventures. Now let's go to playlists and we can scroll through and find cheesecake videos. Now we'll just pick any cheesecake We'll just go with the New York and, cheesecake. And this is a six I'll by three. I'll pause that. And where is the information that you might want? If you're looking at your phone, there'll be a little arrow you can click on. If you're looking on your computer, right below the video, it says show more. Click on that. And then everything opens right up. Here is the recipe. And here is the cheesecake pan and the Instant Pot. If I click on the cheesecake pan, then it takes you to Amazon to the link here. And then you can pick out what size cheesecake pan you wanna buy. Now the feature one in the link is a seven inch by three inch. But what you wanna do is you wanna click on size. Then you can pick whatever size you want. You can pick, if you have a mini Instant Pot, you can pick a smaller one. You can pick the six by three inch one that is the one that's in all of our videos so far, or you can pick the seven by three. Now, if you have the eight quart duo, you're gonna have to measure that and see if you wanna pick a larger one, or if you want a huge one and you're gonna bake it in the oven, go right ahead. The point is that you need to click on the link right here to choose which size you wanna order. Now, that was just a few tips and tricks for you. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Happy cheesecake baking. Twin Cities Adventures, out.